what's going on guys vic pp back with another game case arcades video today we're just gonna hang out we're gonna hang out with the arcade and we're gonna talk some gaming stuff and basically if you want me to build you an arcade and you want me to ship you out one here's what you could do to save money on that just real quick before we start this video guys i gotta give a big shout out to all of you guys the viewers you guys uh, are apparently liking the videos. I really like it. I'm seeing a lot of feedback from you guys. You guys are asking questions. You guys are subscribing. You're liking the videos. Some of you guys dislike it. I don't care. I'm still going to put out the videos. I don't care how much you dislike it, but I'm just happy that there's some people out there that actually enjoy it. I'm not a pro at this. I never claimed to be a pro. I mean, I've been doing this for about four years. I learned literally from YouTube. So whatever you find on YouTube is what I learned too. So the biggest coolest thing is that you guys are so engaging and you guys message me on Instagram and on YouTube. Just keep them coming, guys. It's, it's really awesome to know that people are watching this. Um, I'm going back to the selfie mode now on this, so I hope you like it, but I'll be sure when I edit my videos, I'll watch out for any mistakes I make. So again, big shout out to you guys. You guys are enjoying it. Again, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Message me on Instagram. My personal Instagram is Vic underscore VP. The Game Case Arcades Instagram is Game Case Arcades. You can do anything you want, like it, you could message me, I'm always there. Now, I mean, I did a step-by-step -step guide on how to modify it. Again, I'm not an expert, I'm not a pro. I mean, you know, I've been working with, you know, the pies and with hyperspins and the emulators. I've been doing it now for about three or four years. So I'm used, to, you know, I didn't, I'm not a pro, I didn't go to school for this, but you know, you pick it up, you learn it. So I did make a how-to video on how to do exactly what you see here, but I'm still getting messages from people about them wanting to buy like a full setup. And if I ship it, do you ship it to Canada? I mean, I could help you guys out, but I don't want you guys to waste money. So here's what you could do if you want me to make your RK one up modified. It's pretty simple. All I literally need is the control panel. I need this top piece. This top piece, the control panel is the biggest headache that people suffer and the biggest thing to deal with. We have to put the new buttons in. The stock buttons are garbage. That's all face it. No matter what, you, any upgrade to the regular stock buttons, the buttons are garbage. LED buttons is what I like to do. We have to put the select mod to it and we'll also do the speaker mod. So I really just need this. If you do also want the four player admins, you do have to give me also this sliding thing, which again, you just gotta give that to me. That's all I need. Just send me the control panel, okay? Everything else you do, I mean, even with you sending me just the control panel, you still have to do some things on your end. What do I mean? You do have to still do the LCD mod. It's simple. Believe me, it's very simple. You follow ETA Primes. The LCD mod, basically just installing this thing, taking your wires and just swapping it. That's all you have to do. And as far as the speakers, I sent you the link to the speakers. All I need are the speaker tops, just the actual monitor tops. The subwoofer you keep. The subwoofer, you just have to screw it into the base. And basically when you send me the speakers, it's gonna send me the speakers with the auxiliary wire inside of them. So that's all I need. Send me the control panel and send me your speakers. That's, that's it, that's all I need. Now I get it. People on the forums and people everywhere are like, oh man, um, you know, I'm having a tough time inputting and fixing the buttons. And somebody messaged me about their LED doesn't turn on. So I'm here to help. I'm really glad like you guys are watching the videos. It's pretty cool. So I'm here to help. You can literally message me and I'm, I'm, I'll be there to answer whenever I have time. Now the biggest thing that I know for a fact that when people like try to do this mod is the pie. The pie image is tough. I know it is. I, I've been building my pie image personally for about a year now. It's a headache. My hyperspin build, forget it. My hyperspin build is like two years old and I still keep building it because now there's more PC games that come out. So I know how it is guys. It's, it's a headache, but you have to just try You just got to, you know, push through don't give up and just keep pushing through but a lot of people are having issues with especially with the zinmo the zinmo for pi 3s it's not recognized as two game pads and the joystick on player two controls joystick from player one i get that there's a couple things you have to do to fix that it's a lot of coding um but you know you got your usb encoders and all that too to keep in mind but again that's really the main thing people keep messaging saying vic can you just send like sell me an sd image no i can't the SD image has to be programmed. It needs to be programmed. Configured is the real word. You have to configure your Pi to the controller. So for me to just give you an SD image, it's not gonna work. People don't get that. Unless I program it, you're gonna have a nightmare. For example, you know the Pi release really set to read off of a keyboard. So if you plug in all of a sudden an NES controller, 
you know, you, you expect it to work out of the box. It's not, you have to go into the configuration space. Then that's when you have to go into RetroArch and you have to fix the input. So not many people get that. Uh, I don't know what's so difficult about getting that, but you have to configure the inputs. That's the biggest thing. But going back to what I'm talking about, if you guys want to send me anything and you want to send me your control panels, all I need is a control panel. That's it. You do have to do some work on your end. You have to do some work on your end. I mean, you got to do just the LCD mod and the, the subwoofer. As far as the LEDs, really the way I did mine, like you saw in my video, uh, we soldered the LED to the LED strip. You might not know how to solder. So if anything, we'll just have, I'll program, not program, but I'll basically set up your LEDs to work off of a plug. We'll just give you a regular outlet plug, like an adapter. You just plug it in. That's it. That's all I need. Again, all I need is the control panel. I'll give you the Pi. I'll send you the Pi. You want to send me your Pi. You want to do the Pi image. I'll give you my Pi image. It's up to you. My Pi 3 image, though, is a four-player image, which is what I was going to do for this one originally, but the customer didn't want that. My Pi 3 image is really set for four players, so it's two joysticks, two arcade sticks, and then we do two Super Nintendo-style joysticks, which, uh, not joysticks, controllers. Two Super Nintendo-style uh, controllers. You can mount them on the bottom, whatever you want to do, and at least you have four-player action. Tell me I'm not really a fan of that because the arcade one-up is small, so imagine having four people crowd around this thing, it's a headache. That's something where you want like a bar top or an actual full screen setup. But again, that's all I really need. Just send me the control panel and I'll fix it. Again, you let me know what Pi image you have. If you want to send me your actual Pi, I'll make you the SD card and we'll, we'll work with it like that. But again, you know, it's just something that it's, it's not easy and it's not hard though. So I don't want you to think it's, it's hard. It's, it's not easy, it's not hard. You have to actually sit down, you have to do it. But again, don't be afraid to message me. I'm here to help. Uh, I got a guy coming over actually tomorrow. He found me on YouTube and he found out that I've, uh, he's in East Elmhurst. He's got an issue with wiring up the LEDs. To, he bought a, a kit from Amazon, so I'm here to help. He's actually going to come down. We're going to hang out. We'll make a video out of it. But again, as far as if you guys wanted to buy this cabinet, I wouldn't sell you the whole cabinet because it's not right. To me, it's not right. You're going to pay a lot just to ship it. I have to ship it to you like this. It has to be shipped and created. It's a waste of money. Basically, all I really need is the control panel. Um, I would probably send you the Pi separate, like we wouldn't really screw the Pi down. Um, this way it doesn't get hurt in transit and you just bolt the Pi to the back. That's really it. Again, as far as if you guys wanted to buy this and you're overseas, you let me know. But again, I do urge you that you do watch my how-to video. I, I feel like I went in depth and I feel like I did show everything that you need to see. But if you still have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Again, we're just hanging out, making arcades for people and enjoying them. That's the biggest thing is to enjoy them. So again, on the next one, uh, as far as for the future of this, for the month of February, I have nothing planned. I have no events. I'm kind of slowing down on work because I'm getting married, but I'm planning to do my own arcade one-up cabinet, meaning that I'm planning to do a whole custom top to bottom. We're gonna cut wood. I'm not a woodworker, but that's the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically take the profile, meaning I'm gonna take the side of the arcade one up, and we're gonna to look to make this a little bit bigger and a little bit taller. I'm not really a big fan of the 17 inch screen. I'm gonna look for like a 22 to 28 inch screen on this, and that's the next video that we're gonna make is we're gonna make a full custom setup, and we're gonna see if we could actually make it maybe a little bit cheaper than what the arcade one up is. Right now, as we're talking, I got um, Sammy. The guy's name is Sammy. Uh, messaged me on YouTube and then found me on Instagram. I told him to message me. He's the one that lives out in East Elmhurst. And, um, you know, now he's looking, he's, he's got the LED to work, but now for some reason his input's not working. So again, I'm here to help, you know, just give me a, shoot me a message, shoot me uh, anything you want. And um, I'm, I'll help you out guys. That's, that's just how I am. That's the type of person I am. That's the human being that I am. Um, again, Sammy messaged me on YouTube and he's like, oh man, Vic, I noticed you're actually close to me. I live in East Elmhurst. I want to come down. Can you help me out? I said, yeah, actually, if you want, before you come down, just shoot me a message. I'll try to help you over the, the phone. He just texted me. I just told him um, he wasn't able to get the input. I told him just swap the negatives and now he goes, oh my God, it's working, bro. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. Instead of you paying me for that, I just give you that for free. So again, as far as the RK one up, we're gonna make our own personal one. Oh, let me show you that real quick. So, um, I feel kind of silly because I shot this twice. The first time I shot this, 
I actually discovered that my phone, my uh, microphone wasn't on, so it, it wasn't even recording. So um, basically my next step, we're gonna be building our own arcade one up. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna totally do what I said, but basically I'm gonna copy this side. Uh, I actually did it right now, actually, let me show you this. So I actually took a marker and I actually traced out, I traced out the actual arcade one up like layout. So I took a marker, I took a piece of cardboard, the actual cardboard box, I put it up against this, and then I traced out with the marker, like the side panel. So I'm not sure if I really wanna do that, but basically again, we're gonna try to copy this. I'm gonna bring this up a couple of inches, or at least half a foot, and we're gonna make a whole custom mini arcade, I guess you could call it. So look for that in the future one, and um, I'll keep you guys posted.